Uh, U of M, one of the regents told me, and you probably read about this, that the regents were holding a meeting, and I don't know if it was by any means necessary, or I think it was by, by any means necessary is a, uh, a violent group, by their main name, by any means, mm -hmm. violence, whatever, and they, they have a, this uh, uh, history. Uh, they burst into the regents, uh, jumping up on the tables and the chairs, screaming. Oh the regents had to be escorted out the back door. Now, if I was in charge, I would say that's not going to happen. No. These guys are going that's out in handcuffs and you know whatever it takes to get them out, not not running the regents out the back door. One well, of the regents said, "We we solved the problem by basically giving them everything they want." Right. That's where that eighty million in diversity training came from. Mm -hmm. The problems in the universities are enormous. I mean, the most of these regents are captive to you. Know, they they go to their, their not you. I can tell you're you're at least engaging. Um, not you know, they, <laughs> well, he's an appointed region, that's why. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm a uh, CM, CMU grad. And, uh, <laughs> and I, yeah, I haven't had, had found a problem with the CMU, they did respond back. Um, but anyway, I think that there is major, major issues with the universities, uh, not only with their uh, violating uh, individuals' rights, but their, their spending. I mean, the the increases in tuition shouldn't be foisted on the back of these students to pay for diversity training. There's so much blasted diversity training all over the place, and they're spending money, more money on this. It, to me, it's indefensible. And allowing these violent thugs to come in, smash into this thing. I tell you, I've, I've been to some places where I, I thought, this is a pretty hostile crowd. I never saw anything like that. I watched the videos. There's like 10 videos from different angles. I thought, I would, I would have sat there like this too. I'd have been terrified that if I spoke up, they would attack me personally, I, and, the, and the cops would probably sit in the back. Yeah. I mean, they were doing nothing. So there is major problems, and we should be holding up the funding until they straighten them out. But just remember, in our public universities, only three have elected regents. Mm -hmm. State, U of M, Wayne State, the others are appointed by the governor's office. Yes. Yeah. My, my Michael. Yeah, I, can, I just wanted to add something to the university thing. When I was at Oakland University, and we have a former Michigan Republican Party chair as a trustee, mm -hmm. I mean, the, a lot of the students, particularly college Republicans or conservative groups, have a lot of troubles with administration. I know that we had Marco Rubio, Ted Cruz, Donald Trump Jr., <coughs> and John Kasich all agreed to come on campus, and administration would not budge and wouldn't give us space. And Hillary Clinton had come on campus a couple years before that. So I think a lot of the stuff, you got to talk to the students, and I, I encourage you to, to meet with the college Republicans at, at Central, too, because right. there are a lot of little things you don't hear about. You hear right. about the big things. And I met with the college Republicans at U of M. Very good group of people. Yeah. You know, very orderly and of very course, precise yeah. on what they want to do. Right. Yeah. But there's those other groups that you have to work with, and... You know, it's very difficult to see what they do to stop people from speaking. We need to arrest them. You know, just as an example, uh, I had a constituent come to me, and he was an OCC, and he said, you know, there's no real political group for kids his age. I said, well, you know, what do you do? He goes, I'm a student at OCC. I said, well, um, we just start a group. So he went and he did the research and looked at all the clubs, and... Uh, they said, this is the stuff you need. So he came to me. I said, oh, well, you need this. Let me call this person. They'll get you, like, bylaws and all the stuff that they said that he needed. So he's providing all this information. There's a Democratic club, and as far as everyone knows, always is bad at OCC. Mm -hmm. So he's jumping through hoop after hoop. He's having meetings with, well, I need this and this and this and this for this advisor. Literally, a year goes by, and um, he, the, the advisor stops returning his call. So um, I said, you go, you get this guy, you raise hell. If he isn't going to call, let me know, because I'll get in touch with the, uh, uh, the president of the university. Finally, the guy says, um, uh, you know, um, I'm just not going to do it. So I called the, um, uh, the president of the university, and he said, well, I wasn't aware of any of this. Let me do some checking. So he, about a week later, he calls me back. Yes, you're absolutely right. There is a Democratic club. Um, as far as I know, it's always been there. My decisions were disbanding. There could be no more clubs, no more political wow. clubs. So the minute the Republicans wanted to have a club, there could be no clubs. As long as it was a Democrat, fine. This is OCC.